You have been warned. You may need a barf bag. Stabilization was unavailable on the GoPro. So we are going to do a quick demonstration of one of these right here, which is the new Traxxas. What's it called? The BL right there. BL2S. So the owner is going to just randomly select one of these vehicles right here to take out so that we can get a better idea of what's going on with these trucks. Traxxas really listened to what they call the people and they upgraded the front and rear shock towers to the HD shock towers or the HD plastics, which is a much more durable plastic. Oh, loser! Same thing with the hubs, hey, hubs, front and rear. Look at this guy over here. What we got? <laughs> he is such a loser. <laughs> Sorry. Just one of the reasons why I really like this hobby shop, laid back and just here to have fun. So which vehicle are we gonna go ahead and take out with this BL2S? We're gonna do the Rustler. It's okay. probably the most popular, I think, okay. between the three, but they do make Stampede, Slash, and Rustler in 4x4 and, BL2. And you actually have all three versions right now in probably all the flavor varieties. But like I was saying, hubs, front and rear, same thing with the axles. Everything is HD, beefed up, and ready to rip. One question that maybe you're asking yourself is why has Traxxas decided to go this route? Well, we're going to get a quick explanation of why, and it definitely seems to just make sense. So what do we got here? So we're going to explain to you the BL line by Traxxas, the brand new line. Hey, would you turn the train off so we can... I'll get uh, it. Yeah. Nice new remote. What remote does it come with? Uh, TQ, probably. TQ. Okay. And we're unboxing and we're going to run as a demonstration unit a rustler. Now, this line basically came out of customer complaints about the entry level vehicles as soon as you bring it out christmas day cold day you hit a curb front suspension brakes and then customers come in they're mad at me because they broke it immediately so what's really cool about this this whole line comes with their extreme heavy duty parts on all the vehicles these are all four by four vehicles and the other major complaint is the crappy brushed motors. Brushed motors wear out, it's a wear item. New customers don't understand that motors wear out. So this is an inexpensive brushless system, 2S maximum capable and at, a, at an affordable price. So all these vehicles they sell for I believe they're 329. 329, I believe, yeah. So they're putting all the goodness into it as clipless bodies. This is just like an X-Max clipless system. Clip in the front, nice and secure. You could tell how hard it was to get out. Same mechanism in the back. The uh, Stampede has that. The Slash uses the four corner post uh, clips. No more clips missing. So the Slash version of this uses the similar clip system like the Sledge has. Correct. And this Indeed. is using similar to X-Max and XRT. And Max and what else? There's another vehicle that does that. Um, I don't know. We can run around the store and look. So what are we looking at these blue parts here? What are these blue parts? So these are the heavy-duty extreme parts that you could buy a whole box and upgrade an older unit or you can now buy the vehicle with all the extreme parts and the heavy duty axles throughout. Traxxas on, says on 2S this truck is nearly indestructible where if you took like an XL5 two wheel drive vehicle first cold day bam you're smashing the uh, components you're upgrading to RPM parts or the metal Traxxas parts this vehicle is much more durable, like an armor. Out of the box, you're not gonna break it the first day. I heard that. Look at all these blue goodies. Now, just out of curiosity, I know that these are coming in blue and you did say that there was a kit. Do you by chance stock those kits in store? So could I convert uh, my yeah, regular uh, one to uh, this? Nezzy here is gonna go grab an extreme heavy duty kit. If you turn around, they're up on the shelf there. You see, those came out last year and you can upgrade a 4x4 four four kit. Um, the, see, it says extreme heavy. See, this shop has absolutely everything. 
So, so he's got the extreme heavy duty kits right on the top row right there. Yeah, any one of them. They come in multiple colors, any color you want. That's what I was questioning. So they do come in different colors. Right. And okay. then now we sell the entire individual parts separately in extreme heavy duty. So if I was to break something, it's not like I have to go out and buy a new kit. I can still buy like normal individual parts. Right. Okay. And as a store... We're going to carry less of the original stock parts because okay. these are just so much better and stronger and dollar-wise and really very incrementally. So that makes sense. That makes sense. So basically what you're doing is you're helping people upgrade even their existing vehicles. Correct. I like that. So let's check this out. What do we got here? So for $120, what are you getting for $120? This picture right on the back. There we go. So it looks like we've got axles, screws. Oh, it even comes with bearings, bearings too, that's right. Because if you're upgrading to a heavy duty hub and axle, you're gonna also need the bearings. Oh, correct. Metal hexes, shock towers, and is this a black kit? Oh, there we go. Oh, all the colors. So they've got black, green, red, orange, and blue. Blue is what, standard? Yes, standard okay. right now. I would assume later on, you might be able to get these vehicles in different colors. I think the drive um, shafts are all beefed up as well yeah it's heavy duty drive shafts Slime, hubs shock spine. towers yep wow. right so. so blue would be 9080x and the x indicates the upgrade which is the heavy duty i learned that from the x max and the xrt that when they started putting that x designation that meant just that much stronger so uh traxxas did listen to the customers here creating a vehicle that's durable out of the box before they were the mindset oh let the customer buy upgrades let them buy upgrades let them buy upgrades i think other companies have had stronger vehicles out of the box traxxas listened and here it is a stronger vehicle out of the box. Now like the 2BL system is still an entry level system. So when you come in to buy one of these, this does not do 3S. This is, uh, let me undo this. This is 2S max. So it's 35, 40 miles an hour out of the box, but it's a brushless system. It's gonna be way more efficient, run longer, and you're not replacing that motor like you are on a brush truck. I'm noticing that this brushless motor has a built-in fan. That's so right correct. inside of the can, there's a slot, and you can see that there's a fan blade inside of there keeping the internals of that motor nice and cool. So do they offer fans for the ESCs if needed? It's the same fan that fits on the VXL system. Beautiful. Like John, would you grab a VXL fan? We'll pop one on and show that it fits. And what's kind of interesting, they now, instead of, uh, they have their own proprietary plug going between the motor and the ESC. So instead of triple wires and trying to figure out which wire goes where based on color, it's now they just have a keyed plug. It still is three wires, but it right. is keyed. I could see that. There's a little notch that corresponds a little notch right there. The one thing in selling these to customers uh, and they're new, they think brushless is 3S system. This is 2S maximum. Right. And there probably will be a power-up to a Valenian system at some point. The Traxxas hasn't announced that yet. And Traxxas, being a Traxxas, that most likely is what they're going to do because they always have a way to upgrade out of the box. Correct. Hobby quarters, cooling fan will go right on top of the ESC right there. That's actually pretty yeah. slick. So if you needed that, if you found that your ESC was heating up, you can go ahead and install one of these fans for so 25 So they do bucks. have the uh, connector here. They do, if you look down in here, you can see there the we go. connector. We'll pop one of these Tucked on. in on the side right there. And I haven't done this yet, but I'm assuming this should fit right on to here. If they've got the plug, it's definitely going to do it. This is Traxxas. So there's a couple of things, obviously, out of the box you got to do. Just for packaging, they have the antenna so that's strapped to the motor with tape. Got to put the antenna tube back on, and then there's a slot inside next to the receiver where you should be able to put the antenna right in there. Stop opening brand new packs of batteries. He Look told me to. No, we're going to need it for this. We've got batteries everywhere. Well, we don't know how good those are. Got a 1.5. One five. How many technicians does it take to set up a Traxxas? Right, right now, three. <laughs> <laughs> How about you hold But they're all good guys here. Yeah. They're all good guys here. Yeah. I'll turn in front of you guys. 3 right there. 
Boy, look at this bad boy. Ho, 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 ho. This is one to walk out the door with. Man, this is making me wish that I did this to mine. This is the kit that mine needs. So I already have the VXL 4x4, and that thing's in a state of disrepair. I might have to walk out of the store. I might have to walk out of the store with one of these right here. Look at that right there. The hard question is what color? Drive line suspension kit. Might have to go with orange or green. Look at all the parts and pieces that you get right inside of this box. You get body posts. Oh, so they even. Oh, what is this? So there's posts too for the body. So you not only do you have the shock towers, you got the shock towers front and rear, you have the rear hubs, you have the front C hubs and the steering knuckles, all the bearings, all the axles, extra screws. Hinge pins? It does, it comes with actually pins. So Did the pins are for the knuckles. Pins? Hinge pins? And like it says right there, it comes with the upgraded hexes too. Complete installation hardware, fully compatible with Traxxas 4x4 HD suspension arms. Like no one's done over here, so there must be like an arm kit too. Come on, Traxxas. Yeah, so we got the fan going. It, this is the VXL fan that fits the uh, VXL 3S system. Fits right on the two, the BL2S system. Plugs right in. Turn it on. Radio's on. Battery's installed. Uh, Nezzy's gonna throw the. Do the me a favor before it. we before we pull that, put that body on. Give me a little bit of a trigger pull here. Wow. And that that's got the some maximum torque. for the system. So that has got some torque to it. A lot of people expecting this as a brushless, they think it's 3S, but it's not. So right. uh, when they when people come in to buy this, we make sure they know they go home it's 2S maximum. Makes sense. Alright, throw that body on. But this is like it. you said, this is where that entry level comes into play. This is giving this potentially to a younger individual that's getting into the hobby that really just wants to have some fun. Right, and the parents have a reliable system now. Reliable system and a reliable place to come to to get their parts. Of exactly. course. All right. Oh, wait a minute. Let me see that again. Rip? Let me see that again. Do a little slow mo drop. Yeah. All right, so we're going to take this thing out. We're going to take this thing out and see what this thing's all about. But the question is, does it rip? Traxxas is saying with this BL2S system that essentially this truck is indestructible. And while the 2S system is limited to only 2S, I'm going to say probably yeah. I mean, if you slam the thing going full trigger into a brick wall, you might end up with an issue. But I think what they're trying to do is at least give that better experience out of the box. Like he had mentioned, another named kind of company seems to be uh, seems to be doing it or, or killing it in. Anyways, this is RC Guy Garage. Hopefully you enjoyed this quick little showing of the Traxxas BL2S system that's available in the Slash, Rustler, and Stampede, all of them being a 4x4 off-road type of vehicle. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Your turn. You said this last time.